Hello everyone, welcome to another Nick Place, and this time we're going to look at Nagagutsu o Haita Neko Sekai Ishu Eidi Nichi Daiboken. I only know some of what some of that means. I don't know what the whole thing means, but um, well, Niko or Neko is Japanese for cat, and of course you're playing as Puss in Boots, and then Sekai means world. Ishu, I think, means days, I think. Um, Daiboken is like a big adventure, so, um, anyways, let's take it out here. It's, everything's, like, brand new, so this is, like, this was 25 bucks, so I think it was, I got a good deal here. Um, take the game out of the cartridge, here you go, it's got a red cartridge, I like, I like red, so. Let's pop it in, before we turn it on, I'm going to take a quick look at the manual here, see what's, what all is in here. I uh, got a little reference card too. Um, this pretty much tells you like how to hook up your Famicom. They had to put it in one in like a separate card instead of like putting it in its own thing or whatever, putting it in the manual. I mean, okay, so you take a little quick look at the manual here. Um, I'm trying to show it the best of my ability here, but it's pretty much giving you the controls. That was a creepy ass picture of Puss in Boots that I hope never to see again. Oh my god, now they're showing you the enemies. So, uh, and, uh, and I think these birds will shit on you. Big. They call it Big Bird? I'm not joking. That's what the romanization is, or that's what it actually translates to. Big Bird. So they take a character from Sesame Street. All right, now I'm really interested. Now I did play this game a long time ago, but I mean it's been so long I barely remember the game. In fact, I don't remember the game. All I know is, is it's a side scroller, and it's not the same one that we got in the U.S. Even though the games were published and developed by the same companies. Okay. Okay, he's firing stuff out of his dick. I guess he's ejaculating. I mean. I'm not trying to be funny, but come on, it looks like it. Or is he like Ling and he's just shooting his swords? Okay. Well then they'd be daggers then, they wouldn't be swords. Um. Oh, now I can run super fast, yay. Oh shit, oh shit. Oh. Wow, well, it's okay, even though it's 5 in the morning right now, there's no one in the room next to me, so I can be... I can talk normally. This music's kind of crappy. There's actually hidden credits in the ROM. If you look in the game's ROM in like a hex editor, it gives you all the names of the developers. It's pretty cool. This music is kind of crappy though. I mean, obviously this this music it's not worse than Justin Bieber, but I mean it's. Still pretty bad. Oh god, there's a giant fish coming after me. Oh, jeez. Oh, damn, do you see that? The fish exploded. Oh, now it turned into a Game Boy game. Okay, this is interesting. Um. Oh, I guess it was like an invincibility thing. Okay. Oh. Uh. I don't remember how many levels there are in this game, too. I don't think there's 80, but if there are, there's no way I'm playing through it. It says up in the upper right corner, 80. B, I think it's what, like, B, I, B, which I think means Dave, I'm pretty sure, so. I don't know. Um, the timer, I don't know if that affects your ending. Oh, jeez! Okay, please tell me he's easy. Oh, jeez. Ah, jeez! Stay away from me. Okay, good. That, that was a pretty easy boss, and that's good, because the first boss of the game should be something simple. Okay, there you go. So you get the... Jeez, I didn't even press anything. I skipped the map screen. Damn. Wait, I know that song. Oh my god, they took a public domain song. I, I don't remember the name of it, but my Yamaha keyboard's got it. I'll put an annotation if anyone's really interested in what song it is, but... I can't think of the name right now, so. Yeah. And my key the keyboard that has it, that I have that has that song, isn't hooked up right now, so. Yeah. That's funny, they, they took public domain music. 
And so, should I really start singing you are a pirate since there's pirate ships attacking me? Uh, it'd be better than this, I guess. Maybe I'll sing a little bit. Yar, har, diddly dee. Being a pirate is alright with me. Do what you want, cause a pirate is free. You are a pirate. Come on, that, that song's much better than the music that's playing right now. Damn, I didn't know these. What are they. What kind of boats are these? Like. Oh. Oh, it's a fucking cat. So cats hate water. Get it? So he dies in one hit. Yeah. So I guess in this world. Water to cats is deadly to the touch. But, oh, and, I, and that's great. I get to start the whole fucking level over again. That's nice. Look at this. Look at this. I have to start the whole fucking level over. So they want me to get through this whole level without getting hit once. That is ridiculous. Oh god. The first level was fine. I mean, that's, you know, the difficulty was just perfect. I mean, it's the first level of the game. It's easy. But now level two comes and... Holy shit. So, oh, jeez. It's just a shark fin. Come on. Oh, there's a pirate ship. Oh, jeez. Okay, well, I'll give this one more go, I guess. And if I die, I guess that's it. Oh. Oh, that's weird. The thing touched me and I didn't take damage. Okay. Oh, just die. Okay, you gotta watch out for the deadly lightning bolts. Oh, well, that's nice. Like, like Hokuto no Ken or Fist of the North Star, when you jump, you go to like the top of the screen. Here, it's not as bad, but... Uh-oh, what's the music for? Boss? Okay. I guess I'm just in a storm or something. And if the epilepsy effect is just supposed to be lightning. I mean, look at this. If you if you have epilepsy, this is going to kill you. Turn off the video now if you if you have epilepsy. I'm not even joking. Is this shit... Like, did they even take that into account that there might be people in this world with epilepsy? Or did they just not discover it back in 1989, I think, when this game was made? Shit. I mean, my eyes are starting to hurt from this. I'm going to get a migraine. And I can't see the game developers anymore since they no longer make video games. Oh, shit. Oh, please, let there be a checkpoint. Wait a minute, the P said... Oh, now I have one life. Okay, wait, 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 please. I, I get to... So Fuck! Do you, do, you, do you believe this? They, there's no checkpoints in the level. They expect you to get through the whole thing in one clean shot. Give me a fucking break. Oh my gosh. No checkpoints. That is ridiculous. Like, if the levels only take, like, one minute to complete, I would understand. It's like, okay, yeah, the game... And look at that, that, that fish hit me and like, I didn't seem to take any damage. That's another thing, if you do take damage, there's no clear indication that you've done so. Your guy doesn't flash or anything. So, I mean, what's going on here? And that public domain music is really getting on my nerves now. Should I just mute the TV? Uh, but then it would just be my droning voice, so what's worse? You're picking your poison here. Might as well take both. That's why I say, if you have to pick a poison, just... Poison yourself to shit and die, you know? <laughs> okay. Okay, just, yeah, shoot that damn pirate ship. Shoot the damn pirate ship, stupid pirates. Oh god! Okay, that lightning bolt touched me. But see, I. Oh, I see. The P up in the upper right hand corner is how many hits you take. I thought that was how many lives I had. And of course I die. Like. Oh, that's different. Oh, game over. Well, do you get to continue, or is that it? Wow. Fucking wow. No continues. And if there's a cheat code, still, let me see. There's a cheat thing on Game Facts. Let me see. Is that a continue code? Nope. Reverse player two's controls. Wow. So, no continues. No continues at all. You die, however many lives you get, and that's it. And they expect you to pass that second level. Fuck this game. Two out of five. That's what I rate it. And again, it's, this isn't a review, it's just me playing the game. Kind of like the James and Mike Mondays thing. But look at this game. I mean, 
the graphics, you know, it's 1989. I'm going to give them a break, okay? They could be worse, okay? They could be, you know, there could be shit brown colors and textures, so, which there are some of, but not a whole lot. I mean, your character looks okay. He definitely doesn't look as creepy as he does on the cover. I mean, it looks like he's going to eat your soul or something, but it's just, it's not that great. I mean, it, it I can't believe that they actually kind of released this game because... Well, that's just not that great. The controls, I will admit, the controls respond well. The music is kind of crappy. I mean, I don't mind public domain music if it's arranged well, but in this game, it's not. So, do I recommend it? I can't say that I do. If you're a big fan of Puss in Boots, though, maybe you'd like it. I don't know. And I still, I'm still trying to get my hands on that U.S. one, the U.S. Puss in Boots game they released here. It's not a rare one. I just never see it in any game stores than that. So, anyways, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you later. Peace out. And by the way, now I've become officially addicted to Sting's Fortress Around Your Heart. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. I'm hoping it's a good thing. Anyways, see you later.